Welcome to the homework for lesson three. This is module three of grade one. Get your name on here first. And the string that measures the path from the garden to the tree is longer than the path between the tree and the flowers. So this path here, longer than the path from the tree to the flowers. It says circle the shorter path. So here it is. From the tree to the flowers, if the guard to the tree is longer, to the tree to the flowers has to be shorter. There, I circled it. Use the picture to answer the questions about the rectangles. Which is the longest rectangle? If we look at C, do we can just tell by the stripes. It takes like one, two, three of these stripes to go the length of C. But for B, it takes one, two, three, four, five, and you can tell that the endpoints are kind of lined up here. Then B sticks out farther, so it has to be longer. And then you look at A over here, and like, well, A looks like it might be close to B, but it's hard. You can't really count it because it's not the way it goes, you can't just count the stripes. It looks like it's only two stripes going this way, two stripes long, but we can see that if we twisted it a little bit, it would be, it would look like it was a lot longer. But it looks like B is still going to be longer, so it looks like B is still the longest one. And it says here if rectangle A is longer than rectangle C, then the shortest rectangle is what? So it, A is B is longer than C, and A is longer than C, then everything's longer than C, so C has to be shortest. So the shortest rectangle has to be C. And you can just look at it. C looks like it's the shortest one, and it is. And then we have to order the rectangles from shortest to longest. So shortest one first, and longest one last. Shortest one is C, the longest one is B, and A is in the middle. So it's going to go from C, A in the middle, and B is the longest. And use the picture to answer questions about children's paths to the beach. Here's John's path. Now when you count the blocks, we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. John's path is twelve blocks. Cam's path is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14 blocks. And Sal's path, we haven't figured that out yet. How long is John's path to the beach? Well, we just counted that one. It's 12 blocks. How long is Cam's path to the beach? We figured out that one's 14. And it says John's path is longer than Sal's path. So it's then it says draw. Sal's path. So John's path is longer. John's path is 12. Sal's path is going to have to be shorter. So Sal's path could just be a straight line. That would be shorter. But John's path kind of went around something here and went around something there. So if it was straighter, it would probably be shorter. We could take out just one of those detours and And it would still be shorter than John's path. Let me use a different color to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten, it's still shorter. And I just drew Sal's path. And you don't have to write this, but I'm just going to add it for extra 
cells path is 10 blocks. And then to circle the correct word to make the statement true, Cam's path, is it longer or shorter than Sal's path? Well, let's go back here and look. Is Cam's path longer or shorter than Sal's path? Well, Cam's path is 14, Sal's is 10, so Cam's is longer than Sal's. So longer than is what we want, longer than Sal's path. And who took the shortest path to the beach? Well, we wrote it down, so John is 12, Cam was 14, Sal's was 10, so Sal's is the shortest path to the beach. So, but it's who took the shortest path. So we don't want 10 for our answer here, we want Sal. And order the paths from shortest to longest. And I'm going to do this by name. So shortest would be Sal's first. And then the longest is Cam's. So John's will be in the middle. So it's going to go Sal, John, Cam. And let me see if I spelled John's name right. Yep, J-O-N. Good.